we're going to see a case in which real attack in the form of a pickup that has been captured is going to be replayed from this external machine Kali. It's going to go through our DMC where our IPS XGS is and it's uh, uh, deployed in simulated blocking meaning it's going to let the attack go through even though it can stop it but I, if it does it I won't have anything to show you and the attack is actually going to go through but it's going to be sending logs in this particular case to Curator. Curator is going to fire an, an, uh, an offense that is going to call our attention but then for us to investigate everything that happened in all those packets that in that uh, comprise the attack are actually going to be analyzing the Curator forensic module. So we start by uh, replaying that uh, suspicious pickup which is the recording file these are the 345 packets that comprise this particular attack and we actually see here the attack the the the, the log file sent by the xgs indicating there is a uh, locky uh, trojan command and control that's pretty good let's actually go into the uh, xgs console and here's the the view that uh, we have in there and see what other information we can get well we see there's a germany address in here that 5.9 uh, and we see that there is a, it fire on the content of this particular php file underscore this patch that's very good we can actually also go into network access events and see that this uh, actually could have been stopped by virtue of the fact that this particular uh, IP address, that 5.9 5 address, has a bad reputation. Uh, but anyway, we let the attack go through, uh, and here are in, uh, in Curator. And going into the offenses tab, we see that it, that, that offense is actually triggered. When we investigated, we only have the data that come from that single event that the XGS uh, detected. I mean, those two, those, those two simple events. How can I get the rest of the information? Well, I could right-click on it and run a forensic recovery, which basically goes and retrieves the pickups related to this particular uh, uh, IP address in a particular period of time, and then do a forensic search. What I did instead is I actually went ahead in, in the admin console on the case management. I uh, dropped the pickup in here and create a, a case called Capture for Analysis in, in uh, Curator Forensic. So let's go into Forensic and in here on that case I see 10 documents for me. Well, what I like to see when I see this is actually select all the documents and get a visual to, to see you know what is actually going there. So I click here on Visualize and what I see is I actually like this view better I see, well, four IP addresses. This is my internal address, and this is what uh, the, that 5.9 address that was detected by the XGS, and I see heavy traffic. That's represented by a thicker line. Less traffic going to this 185 network, and even less traffic going to this 46 network. Let's try to understand, uh, you know, everything that went in there. And to do that, I'd like to click uh, to the surveyor which uh, is a tool that allows me to reconstruct all the traffic and view all the web pages, all the chat, all the emails exactly in the same way as a normal user will see it. I want to see all the, uh, all the elements, not just the most relevant. And I see a couple of things in here. This notice that with the yellow banner is uh, they are flagged as suspected content. So let's start the analysis. Let's, we go into the first uh, document and we go into attributes we see that uh, that's the 46 network well that that's one piece and it's referred to this uh, motor whatever recorder thing that's actually very very interesting let's actually take a look and see that particular url so we see that that particular address uh, url actually is uh, flagged by these two engines as being malicious that's not not a surprise there let's see what other data can we uh, get uh, in here well this is interesting i refer it the, the page where that drove uh, the guy into this uh, javascript is actually this marketing guerrilla uh, in spain let's actually take a look at that one 
Again, no surprise, these different two engines flag this particular URL as uh, malicious. That's, uh, so that's a JavaScript. Let's see the next page. The next document is actually a web page. That's actually pretty good. That's, that's the way that the page looks like. It's a not, not a very uh, you know, sophisticated page at all. Let's go into the actual attributes. And we see also the same referrers as Marketing uh, Guerrilla. So the previous one was the 46 address, and this is the 185 address. Okay, that's very good. And I'll bet you that if I put that URL also, uh, I will see it uh, flag as, as malicious. Uh, no surprises there. And by the way, that marketing guerrilla, that's probably a case of malvertisement or something that the guy clicked or was actually by loading the page was referred to. Now, this, this seems to be more promising. This is a shockwave flash, and whenever you have flash, that's never a good thing. So, that's the 185 network again. That's actually very, uh, very interesting. And notice that we were referred to this page from the previous website. We see there in the uh, referrer field. Actually, very good. And yeah, this is uh, th that website from, from Spain. So, that's the malware. Uh, that's mo most most likely what started the the infection uh, uh, that uh, flash. Uh, let's go into the next page and see what we can actually see here. Uh, similar URL. Let's go into the attributes, and this is precisely what we were actually looking for. That octet stream is this is indication that malware is being downloaded or something is downloaded. I mean, we, we know because of the context that this might be malware, uh, but uh, this is Octet Stream is when you are downloading uh, some particular stuff. Let's go into the next document, which is flagged as uh, suspect content. So let's see what we can see there. And, and right there, I mean, before I go into the attributes, whenever you see those percentage, uh, if you're not familiar, that's typically when, when a URL or when a page is actually encoded. Uh, let's let's actually verify that and notice that this has actually been done by the 5.9 so this is the command and control part of probably of the command and control communication with the botnet and this might be uh, encoded uh, to really hide something else uh, you you don't normally encode those 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 pages those URLs and notice that this is the dispatch.php that that's precisely what the xgs uh, noticed uh, uh, before and if we scroll down here yeah well, this, this is actually confirmation what I was suspecting with those those percentage sign that this uh, this is the this URL is actually encoded let's see if we can decode that so I go back to the view and I'm gonna uh, actually grab the content of that encoding up to there I go into this public page and dump that URL and ask it to uh, decode it. And I'm not going to share. And you see, it cannot be decoded. Most likely, this is uh, binary or this is encrypted. But this is actually communication with the command and control. It can be in the case, in this case of ransomware, it can be the exchanging of the keys. Uh, who knows uh, what is actually there? Let's actually go into the next document and go into the attributes. And what is it that we can derive from here? Again, this that, that's that address in Germany that we know it is not good. Look at that uh, gzip and deflate. So it's really dumping stuff, downloading stuff. We see that octet string again. And actually, we, we, we see that the XGS is the uh, forensic tool is actually flagging this suspect content as a botnet <laughs> and the same on the score this part of PHP so so now we have a bunch of uh, file hashes we have file names we have URLs we can use all these components to actually look for you know who else might be uh, infected uh, with this uh, type of attacks I can for example right click on this particular uh, URL and click here on a search and, and the forensic engine is going to look for 
all the occurrences of that particular URL and then we may locate that they might this might not be the only user uh, infected or I can actually put some additional controls to make sure that no one else goes uh, to these URLs uh, 